The uh, NHL deal is a prize today. Uh, the second part of this deal is going to TNT. Well, it's going to Turner Broadcasting. Well, Turner, yes. Yes. Um, I've seen people say TNT, and I've seen people say TBS, and I um, and I don't actually know much more than that. Uh, it's a seven-year deal, two hundred twenty-five million dollars a year. Um, it there was. I'm I'm surprised the numbers low only because there were so many people bidding for that deal. There was NBC was bidding for it. Um, they announced uh, basically today that we're out. Um, but it was NBC. Um, there was interest from CBS. Fox was expected to get it um, as late as yesterday. And then TNT ended up, for whatever reason, uh, I don't know if they bid the most or the uh, NHL just wanted to go with them over Fox. I'm not sure what the decision-making was. It may come out in the next day or so. But, um, you know, it was going to be Fox and FS1. I think the feeling is is that with um, – it was probably going to be FS1 and Fox, and I think that the feeling was whether it's TBS or TNT, those are stronger channels, um, even though there's no network component. Um, so I think that that may have been, and plus the, the, the fact that that, you know, ter, uh, TBS, TNT has Major League Baseball, um, then the NFS1 does too, and then uh, also has uh, the NBA package, which is, you know, very popular and successful, so... I think that that was part of it, and they were already with ESPN, which is the sports leader. Um, but um, ESPN's also, you know, going to do streaming with it, and Turner probably will do streaming um, of some games as well. You know, the whole package isn't out, but of course, obviously, the key thing is is that what does that mean? Because the big game uh, of the week had been a Wednesday television game. And what does that mean with AEW? If it's on TBS, it doesn't mean anything. If TNT wants it, um, that gets really tricky. My impression is is that it does not... I mean, the early things that I have been told is that this will not affect AEW, uh, that AEW will stay in its time slot, and this will... You know, that they'll probably end up on TBS or a different night, you know. I mean, they could go uh, Monday or Friday. Tuesday, Thursday is, is NBA. So those days are off. And for TNT to move AEW, if that were to happen, I mean, the, 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 the problem is, and this is why it will probably be not happening, is your choices would be Monday night or Friday night, and probably Friday night because Tony Khan was pretty adamant about not running on Monday night because he doesn't want to go into the NFL three months of the year, for more than that, actually, three and a half months of the year. So... Um, Friday would be going head-to-head -head with SmackDown, which would not be a good idea because then you're back to splitting the audience, and you're also on a much weaker channel. I mean, at least with uh, with the NXT thing, it was TNT versus USA. And for wrestling, I mean, there was an edge in the sense that USA was a more familiar channel to wrestling fans, but Fox is a lot more powerful than TNT, so that's a big that would be a bigger disadvantage. It would, that one would hurt the, in the ratings. And also also the fact that SmackDown's a, a stronger show to the average person than NXT would be, uh, and with better production. So um, it's, it's interesting how this will all play out, but the most interesting thing is obviously that uh, the NHL ratings have been down more than wrestling, or more than WWE, I should say, because actually um, impacts numbers, um, you know, as far as like uh, the key demo impact has been up tremendously this year from last year. So it's not down and AEW is not down and NXT is no longer down. Um, and, 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 you know, it was, it was way down in 18 to 49, but it will no longer be down um, going forward. And Raw and SmackDown are, are down, but they're not down that much. But anyway, um, the point is, is that NHL is down really bad. It's been down for a while and they still ended up getting, a way better composite deal than they had gotten before over triple uh and so the the reason is is because you had multiple people multiple suitors for these for these uh different packages so it, it drove the prices up and that's the key for uh, anic uh aw when you know they're they're the year that they really have to be Strong is 2023, maybe early 2024, because their deal's up at the end of 2024. So um, if they are this at this level at that period or, or better, but at this level, um, 
You know, I mean, it, you know, the ratings are great, all things considered, to, to go into to a next deal. But um, multiple suitors are 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 as important, if not more, than ratings. So it's a question of how many people will want um, what is today the secondary wrestling package because the primary package is, would be WWE. Um, you know, in 2023, things can change. I mean, I don't know what that... They could be way down. They could be way up. If they were way down, it would be not so good. If they're up from if they're up from this, it's... it's would be in, in, It would actually be great. But, I mean, there's so many different aspects to this. But it... And, and the other key thing, I guess, with this deal is that everybody was predicting about how, you know, Amazon Prime or something like that, um, you know, Google, some, you know, one of the stream, you know, big, big weeks in streaming, we're going to be going for sports. And the NHL, you know, when it comes to sports, I mean, the um, NASCAR is much higher rated than the NHL. But I think from a prestige standpoint, NHL is still considered number four package. I mean, obviously, NFL by leaps and bounds is one. Basketball, NBA is two. Major League Baseball is three. And NHL is four. So this is a prime package. And the other packages are, you know, there's there's lengthy, lengthy deals. The NFL, no one's getting in. You know, NFL deal was, is, I think, the new deal was really long. So you're not getting into that. So... It's interesting that those guys did not go into uh, the NHL bidding, you know, because they were not they were not serious candidates for this at all, you know. And that was like to some people that was a surprise because it's a major league um, sport, and um, you know it wouldn't be as expensive to get in, but it would be a high prestige and all that to get in. So. That's another interesting aspect of this NHL deal. So, um, but there's absolutely, uh, you know, um, wrestling part, you know, um, impacts. And then the other thing too is, is, you know, if this was going to happen the way this happened, NXT would still be on Wednesday night. And I don't think they moved back to Wednesday because that would be really weird. Um, but, you know, I mean, that's that's the reason that they were moved from Wednesday was because at the time, you know, NBC was the front runner to get the deal. Uh, so and and that would mean Wednesday night games on USA Network. So it's it, it has great. But are impact. we not getting Wednesday night games on USA for the remainder of the season? Because this deal starts next year. Well, we were going to, um, but it's going to be on an NBC Sports Network still going to be around. So the for the rest of the season they're going to be on NBC Sports Network. Okay, so that's not that is not shut down yet. No, 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 no. They shut down. Um, I think they shut down in the fall, um, and then it, it, you know the the NASCAR would go, and then whatever else would go to you know other major sports will be going to USA, but those more, will mostly be weekend sports. Um, so so the, the but the the key is is that they were going to this season start with the games on Wednesday. And they would be simulcast or or even just moved because of the idea of acclimating the hockey fans that USA is your network for next season. So they were going to start later this season on USA on Wednesday nights, which is why the the move was made on, in, in April, because very soon that was the idea of starting on USA. So that's but yes, um, you know, even though. Uh, uh, the sports, the uh, NBC Sports Network will be going up for for the remainder of the uh, hockey season and for several months after. Hey, if you're a big fan of Wrestling Observer Radio, we got twelve thousand episodes of all of our podcasts up at our website, WrestlingObserver.com. If you sign up today, you get access to every single one of them. The twelve to eighteen new shows that we do every single week, you can podcast them, listen to them on the road at work. Working out, in the shower, wherever you listen to your podcasts. And also full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter and archives. So if you love what you hear, head to WrestlingObserver.com. 12,000 audio shows at your fingertips.